So we're gonna mix this with diesel. I know a lot of you are going, diesel? Well, How many of you absolutely hate flies? You're sitting at the dinner table, you're hanging out outside, and they're just buzzing around you in your ear. They get on your food, and you're always trying to swat them. It's nasty, it's gross, right? We hate flies. So do the bison. That's why you see that tail wagging all the time, trying to get off their back. Well, those flies almost took away one of my bison last year, Dakota. She almost died because of a horse fly bite. She spreads a disease called anaplasmosis. Today, I'm gonna to try to prevent that by doing a couple of things around the ranch. Here's one example right here. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a 10 foot rub and I'm gonna mix up some concentrate. Um, everybody's told me to use this. It's uh, supposedly one of the best, um, uh, best solutions to handle the flies. I'm gonna tie it up right here. They like to come through here. This is kind of the main part of the corral. Um, so I'm gonna tie this. I'm gonna get that concentrate on it, uh, fly repellent. I'm gonna put it right here so that they can rub on it. And they do like to rub. They they rub on trees. They rub on posts. And so we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. I don't know. I think Dunbar's gonna tear it up, but we might as well try. All right. So got the rub on. We'll see how it goes. So now what I'm gonna do is. What I'm using is Prolate Lintox. I was told by a lot of people, even cattle people, that this is pretty good stuff, but it's gonna control the horn flies, help with lice and ticks. We don't have a lot of ticks here, but mostly horse flies and just the regular flies that are around the bison. So we're gonna mix this with diesel. I know a lot of you are going, diesel? Well, diesel, you'd be surprised, is used quite a bit on rubs like this or sprays to prevent flies. Guys, a simple fly, horn fly, uh, a horse fly, any of those can take down a, a, a bison and can take down any sort of livestock. If you've been in the livestock in industry, you know that. And I almost lost one, um, Dakota, as I've talked about several times. So I'm going to mix this. I've already got two gallons of diesel. And for this rub, it says you can mix up two, uh, two gallons of your mixture, and so I'm gonna add eight ounces of this uh, prolate to the diesel, and then I'm gonna spray it on there. That could be a problem. Leaking out the side of the, <laughs> the hose is busted. Luckily, I found another one. This one's only a gallon, so I had to pour it from the two gallon to the gallon. So <laughs> maybe now we can uh, spray. It's gonna be a while. These are things that we try to do to help uh, take care of our bison and keep them really healthy. This kind of forces you into doing this whenever you have a situation. And last year we had a situation where we almost lost one of our, our best cows, um, Dakota, and um, it, it was really serious. And so we're going to try to do a better job. It's all about learning. And so we're going to see if this stuff works, uh, the seven dust and then the concentrate mixture. And we're gonna see if all that works uh, and see if that rub is uh, pretty beneficial to them. We'll see if Dunbar doesn't tear it up. Hopefully he doesn't. 